this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! Let's give the new kid around here a tour, at the directory there. Squall is a caring soul. Man, that expression is going to infect all of my LPs now. <laughs> but yeah, essentially, Bound Garden, we've got eight areas around here. Uh, I'm not going to show every single one of them by foot, but you can if you want. But essentially, you, uh, if you walk up to the directory, it'll show you all of these different areas, and you can just select it, and you'll warp there, so you don't have to walk everywhere you go. So that's kind of nice. Got the dormitories there, that's where you can rest up. You got a bed there, you can change clothes, save points, you know, pretty much that's what it is. I mean, nothing really interesting there. Uh, there's food at the cafeteria, but you can't buy it or anything like that, so not really a functional purpose. I don't think we ever actually have to go to the parking area to, like, get a car or something like that, or park there or something, I don't know. We got the front gate there. Uh, oh, that's where, uh, yeah, Keistus wanted to meet us there. So, uh, yeah, we might want to head there later, but uh, I want to explore the garden a little bit. Not too much, because some of the areas are just pretty much dead ends, really. But we got uh, the garden fest over there at the quad. All right. Is it an itty bitty kitty committee? No, no, just an ordinary committee. Funny, the uh, girl that we bumped into at the beginning of the game. Uh, is involved with a festival, just like another game. Oh, yeah, they got, uh, well, the infirmary, uh, where, like, a hospital, essentially. Nothing interesting we can do there. Uh, hmm, how'd you remember to, uh, recall the doctor's name so easily, Squall? Got a training center there where they've got, ah, real monsters running loose there, so you can, uh, well, you can die, actually. The enemies, though, are pretty easy there, except for one guy, but other than that, yeah, I mean, you could if you want, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go up right, blast through the game. And, yeah, we got a library there where there's a particular item that I want to pick up, so uh, we'll head over there, too. Oh, and, yeah, the uh, uh, principal's office, I guess, is upstairs, but we can't go there right now. His name is Sid, so, yeah, he's the guy in charge of this place. Sort of, I guess. I mean, he is the headmaster. I guess that would mean you're in charge. I don't know. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, all right, there we go. Well, yeah, maybe we'll see you on the battlefield. You know where any of the adults are around here at this place? Or is this place just full of teenagers? I guess not. All kids, no parents kind of like a fancy orphanage. Let's see, this is the infirmary. The doctor's there. She doesn't say anything interesting. Most of the NPCs in this game really don't say much that's interesting, so I'm probably not going to talk to a whole lot of them, unlike my other LPs. So that'll make things, so, well, interesting to see how I handle it, for, just for myself, too. Hey, how's it going? I toot my own horn. Does that count? Hey, Stop stalking me! Well, if you stop stalking me, maybe I won't ignore you. No, no, uh, I don't know why she's following me like that. It's kind of creepy, actually. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, we are a, a military organization. Oh, well, maybe we should... Is that the one we were talking to before? Hmm. I think it is. I don't know her name, but... Sure, let's take a look. Tell Ark about... Or, tell Squall about what you're doing here. Sorry, I was thinking I was playing another game for a moment there. Sure, why not? Sounds like a good idea. Are you going to tell me what to do? Well, there's plenty of Squall to go around. Uh, for the work, that is, uh, of course. Okay, well, that's all we can do here. So, let's check out the rest of the garden around here. Uh, oh, there we go. We gotta go to the right. Sorry, I, sometimes I just lose my sense of direction. Let's see, I think the next area we can go to is the cafeteria. Can we... Ah, there we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, the load times, well, it's a CD-based game, so that's what you get. They are better, though, so... Oh, well. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. 
Man, I wonder what kind of food they got around here anyway. I mean, you'd figure being a military place, you know, they'd have some, some pretty healthy stuff. Or maybe they only have MREs around here. Oh, that would be terrible. Oh, hey, it's the guy who just tried to kill me this morning. How's it going? What's with the trench coats? Or whatever that thing is you're wearing. And there's Cypher and his posse, or his friends. Uh, Fujin, who has Zoa Syndrome. She only talks in caps and one word at a time. And Rajin, who uh, says, you know, at the end of every sentence. I thought, you know, I escaped the bad accents after the last game, but... Apparently I was wrong. And yes, Fujin is a girl. Either that or a man with really big man boobs. But uh, I, I don't think so. Ow. Some friends you got there, Cypher. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Better uh, be care uh, watch out for her then. She's as tough as Zoa, as you know, could be a problem. What the? Oh. Came out of nowhere, man. Don't scare me like that. Stop that. They got hot dogs here for uh, military cadets. That's great. They could have, I don't know, maybe think of something healthier for the guys? I like hot dogs, though. Actually, the place where I go, I like to uh, get a fire dog. That, that's the best. I guess you could say that guy was uh, rather zealous for hot dogs. Huh? What are you guys all staring at? Yeah, whenever someone's speaking in parentheses or in gray text, that's what they're thinking. Speeding? Fuck you! What, what's wrong with you? What, running in the hallway? You're gonna arrest me? What the hell? I mean, I, I guess they're really strict around here. Wow! It's just like, you know, when I used to play Magic the Gathering tournaments up in Wisconsin. You know, like, if you're, like, a minute late for a match, game loss. Five minutes late, match loss. Boom. Done. Get out of here. Fuck off. You know, it's like, whoa! And there's the dormitories up there. But, uh, yeah, nothing interesting to see there. Got a parking lot here. Can't, like, steal a car or anything like that. We'll be going to those two areas later, uh, as well as the uh, training center. The plot will take us there at some point in time. So, yeah, don't really, uh, well, don't really worry about that. Hey, how's it going? Nice uh, hat you got there, buddy. It's kind of like, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Thunder God guy from Mortal Kombat. Oh, whatever. Fuck you, too! Like, can you imagine that? If, if, like, a teacher... I mean, he's one of the faculty guys here. If a teacher said that to you? I mean, wow! I mean, I guess they're in the military. I, I guess, you know, they're trying to break down your spirit to rebuild you or something. I don't know. I don't know what the military's really like, but... Wow! I, mean, if so, I, I can't imagine a teacher saying that to someone. But anyway, uh, let's, uh, uh, well, there's only one thing we're really interested in here. Apparently that person doesn't want to talk to me, so let's just head on over here. There we go. And we get a cult fan one. They got magazines in this game, and, well, you can read them. There's nothing, not too much to them, but... Apparently, in this book, uh, something about a monster and steel pipes. Hmm. Maybe we should keep an eye out for some steel pipes later on. Some monsters drop them, you can steal them, so there you go. And I'll go over all the various commands later. And in this corner here, we've got a secret area. We've got this little purple thing here, it's a draw point, but uh, we don't know how to do that yet. I mean, I could if I really wanted to, but... Well, I'm getting, I'm running close on time, so you know what? I'll just uh, worry about that later. There's a girl with a pigtail here. Hmm. She's kind of important. Not really, but uh, yeah, w just remember her for later, viewers. Not a big fan of pigtails, I'll be honest with you. Although she does have uh, brown hair, so that's a nice touch. Apparently, the the characters in this game actually have realistically colored hair. 
Okay, so I think we've come full circle. The circle is now complete. Damn it, I couldn't make one episode without a Star Wars reference. I'm sorry, viewers. But then we'll uh, head to the front gate, meet Keistus there, and head on to our first mission at the Fire Cavern. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!